All right, my friends, many, many hours later, if you don't recognize this place, we are back at the house in Virginia, which means there's a certain car that is currently here now. Some of you are new to the channel. You may not have seen this car yet, but right over there, actually it's pitch black, you can't see it at all. But my VR5 swapped 1994 Golf Savoy is here, which I'll be in Virginia for a few days, then down to Florida, hopefully seeing the marketer squad and some other friends, but, ah, oh, get my light on real fast. Sorry, it's kind of dark out here. Oh, there she is, Bay Fort. Oh, the HRE is looking good. Oh man, let's uncover a little bit. Let's pull this up for just a minute. Oh, baby. Look at that. The good old Savoy. We're gonna start out for a second. Now this car gets started and run every single week. So that is very, very good. Oh man. Also, if you guys remember, back when we took this car to Helen for the car show, my vacuum pump in the back of my locks died. I actually brought a spare one to swap into this car. But other than that, I'm just gonna drive a little bit, enjoy it again. I haven't seen this car in quite a while. And man, the HREs are looking good. All right, I have my keys here. Oh, the hit all the seats. Man, oh man. All right, wait for it. Wait for it. There she is. Oh, also, I think this car sounds the exhaust leak from last time. I haven't fixed, but. Oh, man. Yeah, definite exhaust leak. Doesn't sound near as good. As it used to, but well, we'd have fixed. Man, I miss this car. Not a bad little tone, but something like here or so, I think came apart. Also, I swear, so I just said I'm replacing the pump in the back of this car because the locks weren't working because we had to like crawl through the back in Helen, but I opened the car from this door and I'm almost positive I heard the other uh, pump run. Wow. Did it really actually just fix itself? That's hilarious. So I brought a pump, but I might not actually need it, but always good to have spares. Oh man, oh man. The good old Savoy, the, uh, the Polo interior, the shift knob, my brochure. Man, oh man. Ooh, I've missed this steering wheel. Such a cool car. Let's pop the hood. Let's pop the hood real quick. We haven't seen the good old VR5 in quite a long time. Like I said, some of you might not know this car. This is a 1994 Golf 3 Savoy. Bought this from the junkyard, and we put a 20-valve uh, VR5 engine into it. Pull it up and out. She's a bit dirty, but not too bad. Oh, boy, there she is. The good old 20-valve VR5. Woo! Man, oh man. Got the Mutt's Nut sticker from Paul Show and Helen. I've missed this car, man. I have missed this car. So I'm not here uh, stateside just for like car stuff. We're doing a little family vacation. My sister has a wedding she's going to. Um, but lucked out, I was able to come home, uh, see the car for a little bit, see my family for a little bit, see some friends for a little bit. Uh, quick little trip here. But it's so good to see this car again. Let's see how she sounds. Even with the uh, the exhaust leak. Let's see if we can get a couple nice little sounds out of her. Oh, where's my pedal? There it is. <laughs> Always sounds so much like an R32. But it's not. It's a good old VR5. So something I also just noticed. You might notice the uh, headliner is touching my head. Yeah, Ripperito headliner. When your car is outside, it's covered, but the heat's still on the roof. And yeah, there's uh, no more adhesive in there. It's just flopping around. Interesting. So maybe if I have time, we'll take care of that, or I can leave it for later on. Not the, not the end of the world, but goodness. Cloth headliner. It's like the the vinyl material, but still, uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's just flopping around. But my uh. Door trims are okay. The dash is still in one piece. So that's all good. We'll have to address this at some point because uh, that's no good. And off. 
We'll take it for a ride tomorrow. Man, oh man. It is so good to see this car again. Also, I was going through testing out my locks. So if I use the key on the driver's door, it will lock this one, but it won't activate the pump in the rear to lock the hatch and the passenger door. But if I use the key fob, it'll lock the passenger door and lock the hatch with the pump, but it won't lock this one. This is very strange what's happening. I'm not sure why. But when I first locked the car with the key, it opened all of them, but for now it's not doing all of them. I'm not sure why. So I'm kind of weird. If I press this one, you can see lights will flash it locks passenger locks the hatch and then again if you press this one it unlocks lights will flash again and then open and open now when i do the key this one should lock all of them but it locks this one and then that one doesn't move and that one doesn't move and i don't hear the pump so something's wrong somewhere or i don't know it's a volkswagen it's a demon car i brought a spare pump we'll try it out tomorrow but i guess for now we'll just lock this door manually with the key and then i'll use the key fob to uh lock the rest so i mean lock lock locked it works so good to go so right now it's currently wednesday tomorrow we have a free day which i'm going to use to work on the savoy a bit wash the car from the new pump and maybe try and dress that headliner we'll see uh we also might try and see nick and then friday we head down to florida so to start off today i think we'll go for a nice little cruise around the block and get some uh some morning vr5 sounds Ooh, and we have the sun coming out Look how nice this car looks. I mean, the car is filthy, but look at that. Good old Turkish metallic. Look at this thing. We'll do a quick little little walk around for those of you who haven't seen this car yet. HREs, ST suspension, heck blend, a whole bunch of things in this car. Should be looking good. Oh, look at the spider web. Look at this. I am giant spider web, but tires haven't lost any air, which is good. The car is dirty, but she's still looking. To be in great shape now my headliner you saw yesterday is sagging down i wasn't trying to fix it while i'm here um but the car will probably stay outside until i'm actually back stateside so to fix it and then have it do it again probably no point but at least the car itself is still looking good man look at that not as good as the pink floyd but it's, it's good it's up there Whew. all right morning rip time cold start Sounds good this morning. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So I finally got the uh, the radio code for this one. I think it's these. No, these two, right? I think it's these two. Yeah, I got the code finally, which is gonna be that. It works. We'll find something later, but it works. Oh yeah. I forgot how weird this pedal is. Listen to that. Oh, just the morning sounds. Not bad. This time for sure, I need to do some GoPro exhaust driving and some POV driving in this car. Oh, she sounds so good. Man, oh man, is out here cruising in the good old, the good old Savoy. Also, I forgot how stiff this car feels with all the solid mounts. Very, uh, very race car feeling. <laughs> the VR sound was VR6, VR5, just that sound, this note right here. Oh, it's the best, absolute best sound ever.
So overall, definitely not a bad first ride back in the good old VR5. Now, there are a few things in the car I want to go through and fix today. The front alignment definitely needs work. The heat shield's rattling somewhere in the middle, uh, exhaust leak towards the back. And I'm not sure still if I ever plumbed the intake manifold flapper that opens and closes. If I did it right, the car runs good. There's no like vacuum leak, but I'm not sure if it's routed properly. It's all working because I go full throttle. I just thought the car should be faster than it is, but we'll try and go through and sort as much on this car as possible. We're only here for today. We leave tomorrow morning to head down to Florida, and then I'm back in Virginia on like the 15th. So I don't have a whole lot of time with the car, but while I'm here, I'm gonna try and do as much as I can. Now, also while I'm here in Virginia, I wanna go through and kind of revise how I'm storing the car. Unfortunately, the Savoy cannot stay in the garage as the other car is here, but we do have the car cover on the car, which is good for like dirt and stuff, but under this, uh very hot virginia sun it kind of just bakes the car and as you saw the headline is already falling down it's only been a few months that the car has been here but i want to be preventative and keep from more damage happening to the car so what i'm going to try and do i could go through and buy a car port where they're kind of expensive and i don't want to spend the money so what i'm thinking i either might put the car on the back side i can't put it inside because there's stuff inside there but maybe on the back side over here and get some bricks on top and do a big tarp like off to the side that was in shade and then car cover underneath that or maybe on the front side as well um but the fj's here maybe i could do one side possibly but either way i want to try and make some sort of like roofing off of this that way it's car cover on the car and then shade above that so it's not quite so hot in the car and it's not just like baking in the sun all the time or other option is if you're in virginia and you have a carport like the portal ones you can put up and you want to sell it for cheap i'll probably buy it from you i don't want to buy a new one because like 180 bucks and i still want to spend the money but a cheaper one could probably do if not we're gonna build some sort of tarp canopy thing and we'll make it work so i'm in the process of doing the alignment on the front of the car and same issue i had on miley the front wheels are too wide and i can't get the right line off the back wheel just yet you can see there's a bit of a gap this should be touching the wheel just barely and you can see it's off by maybe five ten millimeters which doesn't seem like a lot but in the front of the car it makes the measurements way out so the only other four lug wheel i have here is uh one donut so i have to do one side of the car and then the other side of the car you can see we've got some uh toe in on this side even though the line's not right but you can still see there's still quite a bit of toe in on this side and then same for the uh the passenger side here now it's not horrible we drove the car home six and a half hours and i didn't destroy my tire so it's not crazy crazy far out but we can make it much much better than that but to give you some reference this is how all the tires looked before we left helen and then six and a half hours later this is how the fronts now look you can tell they're definitely fighting each other so i wasn't even thinking about it but there's no way this tiny little fortunate donut is going to clear the uh the 280 setup not a chance so what i think i can do because this is the only four look wheel i have here if i pull the caliper off i can just measure from the back side of the rotor and the front side pretty much like as a wheel would be that's pretty much my only option right now but it should still work fine so after a very long time we are finally set up and good to go uh, the brake calipers are pulled off everything's nice and centered we have our line back here just barely touching the lip of the wheel so we have the proper line going down to follow i'll tell you what though working in a garage that's not your own and you have like a couple tools i'm talking like i have this and i have a couple things over here and then like just like basic tools but like i'm used to having like my power tools like all the tools i need so this took took a while but we are finally ready to go and i had these like buckets and i had to make it heavier because it was sliding backwards and it's just <laughs> it's been a lot i'm thankful to have the space and use the concrete the concrete is very very nice but we have very minimal tools and make things a bit more difficult gotta get creative so this isn't going exactly well if you don't know this is the demon car and it's the demon car for a reason uh this side over here i still have like the normal style tie rods which a lot of times on mark threes you cut the end off because it goes too far and you can't get the right alignment on the car uh this side is now maxed out i got it closer so i pulled some toe out of it um it's not exactly even but it's better now on this side over here as i was going through and i was trying to take some toe out something happened and the uh hear that my whole entire tie rod came out of the steering rack which i don't know how that happened because this should spin inside the little joint but yeah whole entire thing came out i do not have the time nor the tools to be doing this all i want to do was pull some toe out and now uh now i have all the toe you can see i have a tie rod that is uh no longer in my steering rack so i have to figure that out and i think after that i might just you know call it done call it done because i want to enjoy this trip i don't want to have to mess with the demon car too much so I'll try and situate this. So that took so much longer than it needed to, but the car is now back on the ground. Uh, this side even out, no problem. After I pulled the entire tire out of the car, threaded it back in, just way too much work for that side. Over here, it needs like a millimeter more of toe out to be 
perfectly even, but the threads are too long in the air tie rod. I can't get any more adjustment, but you can see where it's at now. So we should be good to go for drag around here. Shouldn't be an issue. So now I'm moving to the back side of the car, try and see my heat shield rattle, what's leaking in the back, and also drop the rear car down a little bit more. When we first came for Helen, I thought I lowered it more, but it's definitely much higher in the back and the front. So go down a bit more in the rear and the car should be sitting good. So I just found something super interesting on this car. I pulled it over here because this is a nice flat section over there. It's kind of bumpy and I want to step back and see how the right head in the rear was. But as I'm adjusting this side, I'm looking inside of here. Look at there. You see that? That is a hole in the gas tank. Do you remember when we first were here for Helen? Uh, we had the car on the trailer. I filled the car up and then it dumped fuel all over the trailer. And I thought it came out from like the top side of here, the filler neck. Nope. There's a giant hole in my gas tank right there. Now it's not from the wheels. Even when the car's down fully compressed, there's plenty of room. I don't know what hit that. All the wheels I had in this car were stock wheels and like the super high offset 15 I think they were, um, but nothing has ever rubbed the wheels that I had. So it had to have happened before me. Look at that. There's a hole <laughs> in my gas tank. This car, it never ceases to amaze me. Just the most ridiculous random things that happen. But yeah, there's a hole in my gas tank. So I'll have to get one out of junkyard somewhere, pull one off the car, order a brand new one, and we'll swap it out at some point. Not the end of the world, I just can't fill up the car full, full, but I would like to have, you know, a nice complete gas tank because I was thinking about it now, as you're driving through water, water could be dropping into there. So that's not good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cover it up right now. But yeah, we'll definitely need a, a new gas tank. This car, man, this car today has been, <laughs> Ah, uh, good old demon car. It just lives up to its name over and over and over again. Granted, it made it home from Helen, no problem, but this car, man, this car. At this point though, I don't want to mess with this car anymore today. All I want to do now is give it a quick bath. We're gonna go back across the street by the warehouse section, do some photos, maybe a quick video, and then call it a day. I'm exhausted, and this car has been all day, just all day long. Simple stuff too that we need to do and just then, <laughs> oh, this car, man, oh man. I'm exhausted and it turns out we don't have any car wash soap so we're skipping the wash going right to the uh cinematics and photo shoot I'm tired man it's currently like seven o'clock which is 1 a.m in Germany and I'm still on that time and I am just I'm tired all right this is going to be our first POV hat drive in the Savoy the sun's just about down so we should have good time for photos and cinematics quick little drive just across the street Toss that back there, back there. Okay. I'm exhausted. It's been quite a long day. Quite a long day. This car does annoy me sometimes, but at least it starts up every time. I don't want to jinx it, but you're doing good so far. Oh, also, this is touching my head. I don't quite like the headliner hanging down like that. All right, first POV drive in the good old Savoy up this massive hill. This Mark 7 pedal still feels weird to me. I got more used to it, but not, I don't know. It's just different. I can't tell if this car should feel faster than it does or if it feels like normal. All right, so we're just gonna go across the street real fast. What open. See, that was full throttle and there's no like pickup. So I'm definitely missing something. I don't think my flap in the throttle is open properly. So we'll have to see. I mean like low speed, it drives great, but I want to like rip on this car and feel it like go. And I don't think I have it plumbed right. So we'll have to revisit that. I thought it would better at the higher RPM. Alright, I 
think we're gonna shoot over here somewhere. They're closed for the day, so I can get me a nice spot. Maybe by these trucks. Hmm, maybe inside there, or maybe I'll do it like right up here. Hmm, mm, 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 so many choices. We can do right here, or we can do over there. We'll do a couple. Honestly, I kind of just stopped right here, but this might uh, this might be the perfect spot. We got some light coming in, nice little background. Ooh. Yeah, this might be the spot. That worked out great. I was gonna film a cinematic, I swear, but the photos were coming out so good. I just kept shooting and shooting and shooting, and now most of my light's gone. And I also remembered I'm currently editing on my old laptop, um, which is from 2012, and I have to edit by audio only on the computer because all the clips on the GoPro and from the camera just skip. I won't play back properly because the computer's so old, it just can't handle it. So I'm trying to keep editing to a minimum, but I will give you a sneak peek. Look at these photos. I shot maybe 250. I just kept going and going and woo! Some of these might become uh, posters because man, oh man, I just kept shooting and the light was so good. Woo, buddy. Yeah, they came out great. But I'm gonna end this video here. I'm exhausted. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.